Hi guys, welcome to the FOIL method video. Uh, the FOIL method is used for multiplying binomials. Multiplying binomials. Binomials. And of course, by means two. And nomial basically means pieces. So you can see that right here we have one piece, the x, and another piece, the negative three. So this is a binomial. And then we have here piece number one, the x, and piece number two, the positive two. So this is also a binomial, two pieces. And when we want to multiply two binomials, we can use a method which many people like. Uh, here we go. It's called the FOIL method. Okay. So the way the FOIL method works is very, very simple. You just take the pieces of the binomials and you multiply them. FOIL is an acronym. It helps you to remember which pieces to multiply. So the first, the F in FOIL stands for first, and that means you're going to multiply the X and the X, because those are the first pieces for the binomial. So that piece would give you X squared. X times X is X squared. Second piece is called outer, outer. And that represents the X. And in this case, it represents the positive two because these are the outer terms. They're on the outside. X is on the outside and positive two is all the way on the outside. So X times positive two, a positive and a positive make a positive and two times X is two X. Okay, now we're gonna do the inner terms, inner. Okay, so the inner terms, like the outer were these green terms, well, the inner are gonna be these purple terms on the inside, negative three and X, negative three and also X. So negative times positive makes negative, and three times X makes three X. And finally, we will do the last. Okay, last is the opposite of first. So that means that this is the last piece of the first binomial, and this is the last piece of the second binomial. Negative times positive makes negative, and three times two makes six. Okay, so now I have all my pieces here for my final answer. Okay, so let's write this all with one color so it's not confusing. And we're gonna put here x squared, but this two x, and this negative 3x can be combined. So negative 3 plus 2 is going to result in negative 1x's minus 6. And if you don't understand that part, uh, you can find the video about combining like terms, and, and that'll make more sense to you. Okay, and so here is my multiplied expression. This is equivalent to this. So this was our question, and this is our final answer. In this video, we learned how to multiply binomials using the FOIL method. We started out with two binomials, and we ended up with a nice trinomial at the end because it has three pieces, one, two, three. All right, don't forget to like and subscribe, and thanks for watching this video.